Hello, my name is Kelly McCown. I'm the teacher, author, and owner of Teaching Math and More. Today on the Teaching Math and More channel, we're moving on to the finale. It's part five of our series, How to Have Your Best Year Teaching Math. And we're talking about the best math games. If you've ever wanted to get an in-depth look into the inner workings of another teacher's lesson plans for math games, then this video is for you. Today, we're going to plan for more fun this school year with standards-based math games. Give your students differentiated activities that will help them learn and engage them. They won't even realize it's math because they will be having so much fun playing math games in your classroom. What's a standard-based math game? Great question. It's a game that focuses on a particular math standard or skill the math standard must be practiced and applied in the game to master the skill. So by the end of the game, students will have practiced and applied the skill multiple times. This helps to reinforce skills that students already know or have learned a little bit about. It's great practice and applications for students. How many skills should a math game review? Well, a standards-based math game can have one or multiple skills. If the focus of the math game is to learn one certain skill, that is easily obtained by the end of the game or through playing the game multiple times. The more skills involved in a game changes the focus of the game to become more of a review of skills. So less skills involved will mean that your students will be practicing that specific skill more. So I've had this question a couple times from teachers what if they don't want to play games in math class? Well, there are a couple different things you can do. So students can play math games for classwork credit, or you can also give them extra credit points, holding them accountable for playing math games in your classroom. You could also give out incentives like homework passes or candy if you're allowed, or a different prize for winning the game. Students might not need a buy-in, but if they do, Find something that will work and make it more fun for them. Here are four rules that I follow whenever I start to play a math game in class. Number one, it needs to be easy to follow instructions for the students. Number two, it focuses on one or more grade level math skills. Number three, it engages students in actively learning and practicing the math skills. And number four, it has a clear objective on how to win the game. There is a solution to the problem of finding a fun math game that reviews skills for your students. There are plenty of games in the Teaching Math and More shop for your kids. You can plan for a successful school year in math knowing you have engaging math games to play. There are many different math games available in the Teaching Math and More shop. Each game has a different skill focus, some are also review games, which can be great for the beginning or end of the school year. Be sure to check the link in this video to choose a math game for your students. For more information about any of these math games, be sure to check out the Teaching Math and More shop. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you next week.